In the heart of London's financial district, a wave of protest and a curious coalition united by cuts. Leading the charge, Charlotte Church, a singer who has said she'd pay 70% in tax to protect public services. Is it a struggle to unify exactly what cause, one cause to it all? I don't think so, not at all. I think as soon as you, as soon as you go back, you could speak to uh, many different people here and everybody. Basically, the whole idea is about austerity and no austerity. It's not the only way. Um, and there are lots of people who are here protesting lots of other things as well, but it all is interconnected. It all is the same sort of narrative. Her new narrative, a child star no longer willing to hide her opinions. I had big companies selling my records and whatnot, you know, don't talk about religion or politics, but the time for that to me is over, gone, it's not about, you know, consumerism and all of that, and you just got to just gotta stand up for what you believe in. People voted for a government that promised to make savings and reduce the deficit. But driving this crowd, the casualties and critics. Why have you come on this march? Basically to add my voice to everybody else's. These austerity cuts are not necessary. These austerity cuts are on the backs of disabled people. How have the cuts affected you? Well, basically I've been beaten up for being called a stranger, for being disabled. I've been spat at, I've had things thrown at me because of, because of the government's rhetoric that people like me are scroungers. The organisers say this is the beginning of many more strikes and protests to come. The message, we won't stop till austerity, is history. We're working out the detail of how to achieve that ambitious aim won't be easy when you consider there are hundreds of different groups here today alone, all with very different aims. And what about your daughter? What do you tell her when you come? I tell her that she, we're coming to complain about a group of people who have taken all the money and keep it for their friends rather than helping people who need it. Our education is a right At the gates of Downing Street, a sit-in. Outside Parliament, a new brand of politics. I think like most of you here, I felt crushing disappointment on the morning after the election. Unlike many of you, I felt personally to blame for it. After defeat, a very vocal fight back, but no one knows yet what it might achieve. Mr. Success.